This is a Streamlight 2L. It cost me $33 before tax with shipping from eBay. So it was 30 bucks before shipping and tax. Came with a pair of batteries. So you can consider it like a, I don't know, $23 light at that point. Runs on two CR123 batteries. It's barely bigger than the batteries in diameter. Very slim, much, much smaller than a Surefire G2. No dual fuel nonsense, no rechargeable BS. And I just found this incidentally by posting about CR123 lights on a forum. And um, I'd been saying for a while that I was looking for a flashlight that would just give me the brightest beam that could be sustained without ramping down. And I think this is as close to it as I'm gonna get. It starts off at 350 lumens. I think maybe it was 7,000 candela. You know, it's not a particularly tight beam, but you know, it's plenty bright for what I'm using it for. And it ramps down to 266, according to the graph on the back of the package within that first 20, 25 minutes. And then it's supposed to go to 266 lumens and go that way until 2.6. And then it kind of starts going down. So you get almost two and three quarters of an hour. And then it craps out at 30 lumens at about three and a half hours. The actual rating on the front is just three and a quarter hours. Well, maybe it was 3.15. Oh, it's too bright to read. Yeah, 3.25 hours. So three and a quarter hours, three hours, 15 minutes. And, um, you know, I don't know. I was looking for a torch that cost next to nothing and stayed super bright for hours. That's not really a thing. And in the end, it came down between this one and the Surefire G2ZX, which is, it's like a G2X, but you hold it like a syringe. You're supposed to hold it like a two-hand pistol grip with a pistol. And that one, you get 600 lumens. It does dim, and you only get an hour and a half, which really isn't that great. And then I started watching some torture test videos between Surefire Streamlight and a couple of really expensive brands like the Mod Light and something else that was priced comparably to the Mod Light. And the Surefire broke the easiest. I mean, it wasn't this light per se, but it seemed like uh, Streamlight was actually really, really tough for the money. Did the best out of the four. So... I figured this was really inexpensive. Obviously it was gonna be bright enough. You get some use out of the batteries and it just gets me away from having to charge anything. And like I said, it's really, really slim. It looks and feels a little cheap. You know, when you unscrew the tail cap, that aluminum on aluminum, it's not that smooth. And then the body is got a little texture and the head's got more sheen than the, the body. So it doesn't have a premium look or feel but i think it's a good value and i think it's the light for me so this is basically all i'd be doing with it i'm walking the dog at night there's a dark spot no street lights I wouldn't normally walk through the woods at night. This is just to show you guys the performance and uh, just as, like, as a weapon light to use with the offhand in the home. That's really not bad. Cuts really well across the backyard and
you know it's not like a torch but it's plenty bright up close I like it it's almost a throwaway price Trying to get a look at the clip in its own light to see if it's reversible it's not let's just carry it lens down and there's the street the street lights 